I told you, everybody. I told you. It was a coming. Come on now. Do, do this right. Um, let's see if I load something else and then go back into it. I don't know. I'm supposed to show the Atari logo for a second. But I told you it was coming. The Atari games were coming. And they're here. And we're going to kick it off with quite possibly the best one of the bunch. This is Yars Revenge from, there it is, from 1981. This freaking game doesn't play around. Now this is just the demo screen. So let me explain a little bit about this game before we get started for some of you younger viewers who don't know. You know, no fault. There's no harm, no foul. Atari games are a little weird. Okay, but it's fine. Because they're old. So, this game was I think Howard Scott Warshaw's first game I think I don't know don't hold me to that I don't I'm not a historian on Atari but I grew up on these things this game came with a comic book I think a DC I think DC had a lot of uh, things going with Atari they did sort the Sword Quest comic books I think they did they know they did a comic book for this uh, this game's beautiful amazing the graphics are actually really good but you play as the Yar which is the little fly thing on the left side of the screen that's who you play as. You're going up against the Kotile, or whatever they are, the Kotile, or whatever. I don't remember what this exactly their name is. God bourbon. But that's their base on the right. It's covered by a force field, and it moves up and down. That missile is a missile, heat-seeking missile, which keeps tracking you. You are a cybernetically enhanced Yar. Your job is to blow up that base. But you got to get a missile to shoot the spire, to shoot the thing, before it fires off its spiral attack, which is its like ultimate weapon. But the Visual effects in this game are great. That, for, that little like wavy thing in the middle, that's a force field. If you stay in it, the missile can't hit you. That little flashing thing on the left of my yard, that's a missile. I can kill myself with my own missile. i got to be careful. I can't fire the missile when I'm in the force field. The spiral can hit me in the force field, but you got to be careful. Now, you can loop at the top of the screen, but not left and right. So, let's get started and I can show you. we got four lives. This is just a standard affair. You can also fire a, a bullet. So I can, like, get right in there. That's the spiral. You can see I can go up and take that. I can nibble at the... Ah, crap! Okay, so I didn't get the thing right. But anyways, I can nibble at this. I can get that thing out of the way. Oh, yeah, I also can't fire it while I'm in this force field, but I can shoot while I'm out of it. Okay, I can also get a missile by going into the thing. And then you have this. The best explosion in any game ever. But you gotta lead your shots. I love it. I would say Flashpoint got me leading my shots. Also, the missile doesn't do jack all of these force fields. This one's a weird force field. Whoa, dude! Chill the frig out over there, okay? With your stupid spiral bullcrap mess. Doom. But you gotta watch that missile. Things are constantly coming after you. Right now I'm just chewing up this force field. Your blaster does a lot of damage to this thing. Now, over time, that thing's gonna start tracking me. Let's see, I can nibble at the force field. Sometimes it's actually kind of faster. Got it! Booyah! And there's nothing like keeping this game loud. Okay, now this thing's gonna get serious. Alright, I'm waiting on it. Some, some biscuit. Alright, the missile's getting faster. So yeah, there's only two types of force fields. This thing will also start homing in on you. Now! Shabooms! Now, if you run out of force field to nibble on, you can always fly into the base itself and you can snap, you can steal a missile out of it. Which is actually kind of fun to do. Whoa, buddy! Alright. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, almost had it. Oh, get away. Nibble. Little niblets. Shabooms! 
So I'm going to see how long I can go in these games, because literally it's been probably 15 plus years since I've played these, probably 20. Uh, so, bear with me, but I'm going to try and go as long as I can on these. It's probably going to start homing on me now, isn't it? That thing will curve at you, and it ain't playing around. Oh! Give me another one. Shabam! I'm getting all the points. Whoa! Whoa! Now you can shoot the spiral with a missile. In fact, I might just try to do that this time. Let's see. If I'm moving constantly... Boom! Gnaw on your force field! Nom 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 nom! Killer swastikas from outer space! Oh! Snuck it in! Bam! God, this game is so. Oh god, that missile's going fast! Get away from me, you son of a bitch! God damn! I didn't mean to go that way! Jeez! away from me! Go away! Oh, sniped! <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, oh. God, I miss it. Go away! Missiles being such a douchebag. Ooh, I was about to say if that was gonna do it, I'd be sick. Alright, we got it now. Oh, that just got saved. Give me another one. Pushed into it. Crap. Okay, I got I got greedy. I got greedy. Let's not get greedy anymore. Come on, Spence, you got this thing. They're gonna let this freaking 30-year-old get this old guy. It's 37 years old. This game was made before I was born. But I loves it. Ooh, crap! No! Oh, give me that. Oh! Almost had it! Crap! Fuck the spiral. The spiral zone! Oh, come on! Give me this thing. Shabam! Alright, we're up to 60,000 points. Oh, it took away the force field. Not that I was even using it. Kabooms! I think I was playing without this thing. God dang it. This freaking miss is ticking me off. God dang it! I didn't mean to do it. Okay. So we're done with Yar's Revenge. That was fun, everyone. See, I told you, this is going to be fun. So, let's do something more. Uh, uh, another very popular game. Let's do River Raid. River Raid's River Raid. Alright, I have not played this game flipping forever. So the thing that gives you the most points are the fuel tanks. So you want to shoot them before you get off of them. But the basically the whole goal of this game is to find out it's a canyon. And I'm blowing up stuff. And the goal is to blow up all the bridges. But you can't run anything, because your plane is not actually flying that high. That's kind of a lapse in the plane, but you gotta keep the fuel up. And you can also go fast. But right now at the beginning, I don't really gotta go fast. Oh. 
Oh, there's other planes up. Also, you want to slow down over the fuel tanks. So you can max out your fuel a lot easier. But this is a classic. This game right here is like an all-time classic shoot 'em up But it's kind of what I'm going for a theme. Every every one of these little Atari Omnibuses. It's just going to be kind of a theme. Games that, I've, that I either own or have played a lot. Oh! Son of a biscuit. I got him! I shot his butt down as a simul kill. Those are the worst kind of kills. Got you that time, scumbag. Got you again! Ha <laughs> ha! But yeah, fuel starts to get farther and farther in between. Hit the afterburner. Just get out of here. Oh, son of a biscuit! Come on! Whoa. Oh, that was dumb. But yeah, I'm kind of going to play these till I die. So yeah, River Raid will probably be a game that I need to play a second time through. I kind of remember this area. This area sucks. Yeah, you big derpy boats. There we go. But yeah, Activision was like the kings of Atari back in the day. Too bad they suck now. Freaking bunch of rip off con artists, is all they are now. I mean, look what they done with Call of Duty. All they do is swindle little kids out of money. Have you no shame? You were like the hero publisher back in these days. Oh, yeah, just floor it. There we go. No, oh, oh, gosh! Alright, let's do some throttle control here. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Love all your stuffs! Alright, we're going this way. Whew, we're doing pretty good. Alright, I'm getting my... Getting my Sea legs, got my airline plane legs going here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just go, go fast. Okay. Alright, slow down. All the stuffs. I not got an extra live yet. Shaboops. Now, there is a River Raid 2, and I've never played that, nor have I ever seen it for sale. Crap. Last life. I think I've gotten as far as a kid. Can't remember. Woo! Yeah, I remember me and my uncle used to play this freaking game a lot. Son of a biscuit! Alright, well that's it. That's all for River Raid. Okay, so we're gonna do something a little more obscure now. Throw it in the middle. This is Planet Patrol. No, do not adjust your speakers. This is what this game freaking does. This game is weird. It's fun, but it's freaking weird. Because as you can see, it's got a day-night cycle to it, which is what makes it cool. Also, it's got some pretty cool sound effects and stuff. So, let's get started. Well, I can't say that. Okay, I can't control my speed. I can't control my shots. But apparently that's my altitude. So when I raise altitude, it makes more of a noise. When I lower altitude, it's like I'm... Do I hit this thing? I can't remember. Yeah. Okay, so what you gotta do here, you gotta blow up all the missile silos before you hit that line. Otherwise, you die. But then you gotta go through a nuclear blast. And then you're good, and then you gotta line up with this thing. Because you have a fuel mate meter down there. And then you take off from the runway, and you're good. But that's pretty much the premise of the game. Except now it starts getting to be nighttime. Which is actually a lot of fun to play at night. Because you gotta keep shooting. 
so you can see what's going on. Which I think is kind of cool. You know, you gotta use the uh, muzzle flash off of your gun to see at night. I haven't seen a concept like that since Quake 2. Again, actually. It's fun when you keep getting enemies spawning in a line like that. And you're just like racking up points like crazy. Until the shotgun is coming through. And I'm back to the daytime again. But that's pretty much Planet Patrol. I mean, it's, 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 it's a weird... It's a weird freaking game. But it's fun. Also, you gotta shoot the missiles at like their base. Otherwise you don't get the hit on them. Then you gotta like plan your route through this mess. And we're good. We can line this up. Hey, we did it. This game starts getting freaking hard too. Now you can sometimes miss one of these. And you don't get fuel if you don't blow up all the rockets. I think that's what the trick to it is. Oh yeah, that's what the game gets hard. Yeah, the game's like, wake up, son! You might have gotten through that first part, okay, but you're gonna have to pay attention now. Woo! Whoa! Straight the needle! Woo! I'm Vic Viper. Okay, here we go. We're flying to Vic Viper now. I need some freaking options. Also, this game's kind of weird because it goes right to left. Whoa, jeez. Okay. I think the missiles start coming faster now. Yep. Got it. This ain't so bad. This ain't so bad. Go to the top. There we go. Alright, line this up. We got it. Whew. This game's crazy. Oh, now we get to go super fast at night, everyone. Just keep firing. Just gotta keep firing. That's the name of the game. Keep firing. Yeah, I got some weird Atari games. You guys are gonna be like, what the frig are you playing? But that's okay, because it's, it's actually kind of cool. Woo! I had a lot of cool Atari games growing up, at least. So I don't know. I don't know how it works. Yeah, and sometimes the shots don't register very well, which is kind of weird. But I tend to like to hang at the top of the screen. Okay, we can't die very much. We're gonna lose a life. Fuel. I need fuel, game. This ain't funny anymore. Give me the nuclear missiles. Threaded the needle on that one, didn't I? Woo! All the meters playing gradients really help. Okay, come on. It, it's not funny anymore. Oh, that's right. If you hit the side of it, it kills you too. What the frig? What the frig is this? I had the fuel. I think I seem to remember that too. When you hit the side of it. God dang it. Oh, that's right. When you're out of fuel, you can't shoot. That's what that is. Now I remember, and you gotta navigate this with no gun. Which actually really isn't that bad because, as you can see, it just. keep doing this. <laughs> it's almost easier in some respects. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh, that's right, I can't shoot the freaking. Wait a minute. I can't shoot the nuclear bombs! What the frig, game? Yeah, there's only one button on the Atari, so I was like, hit the B button, see what that does. Nope, oops. I'm playing this on an NES controller, by the way. 
Not a Genesis. I don't own a Genesis. I don't have any Genesis controllers, sadly. Also, it's on an emulator, so I was like, eh, let's use the NES controller, because when I was finally bust out some Sega 800 games, I can use the two buttons on this to be able to actually play them properly. Because the Sega 800 controller was kind of balls. Especially for a little kid with little hands. Because I was like, seven or eight. No, actually, I was like five when we got that thing. I, I can't do nothing! Really, game? You're gonna make me fly all that way and then I can't do anything? Alright, well that's enough of that crap. Okay. We're gonna do this game, Star Master. Which is essentially a Star Trek ripoff. Anyways, let's get started. So here's our ship. Alright, where... Oops. Wait a minute. Yeah, we'll just do the easy one. Okay, um... Oh, oh, let's reset. Let's select. How do you pull up the star map? Let's reset. You're supposed to be able to warp in this game. Now, how do you do that again? This isn't one of them games that needed that goofy keypad, is it? Let me see. Let me look this up. Give me just a second, guys. Let me pull that down. It's not... This isn't showing up in here, is it? No. Okay. Let me see. Star Master 2600 controls. Ah, Atari manuals from Atari age. Haha. -ha. Uh, don't worry about that. Okay, let's see. Display the relative location to item map indicated by A plus your star base is shown as an enemy star fight. Blah, blah, blah. Moving the color black and white switch. Okay, so what's my color black and white switch? F4. Okay. Thanks, Atari Age. You guys are awesome. Atari Age is the best. Okay, so. So, F4. There we go. Now, these are my star bases. That's where I can go to refuel. So, now we're hitting warp speed. Hang on, everyone. Oh, there was an asteroid coming at us. Hang on. We're going. We're making it. We're getting a little bit of fuel, but we're good. And we're there. Now, the, the crosshair is flashing, so there are bad guys here. There's one of them. There's shot is a shot. Got him! That's one down, there's two more. This game is freaking sick. Wait, that's, there he is. Aha! One more to go. There he is. Oh! Double shot, baby! Let's go! Wait. Why? Why is my F4 not working more? Okay, I get an F3. Okay. Alright, here we go. We're going again. We're gonna blow up some asteroids now. Here we go! We're going fast! I'm going faster! Oh, you're not gonna get me! And we're there. So there's just one to kill. Which is fine. Come here, you son of a bitch. Yeah! Alright. Let's go after this guy. You're not gonna get my base! Here we go! Crank up the engine! Come on! We gotta go! We're going fast! And we're there. Now, as you take damage, you can actually lose, like, uh, parts. The system's gonna shut down. Which is kinda cool. Alright, here we go. We're going again. Oh, no. 
The asteroids are getting mad. Because I'm not fooling with them. Alright, come on, you scumbags. It's one down. One more to go. He's in range. There he is. You thought you were going to get my face. Alright, let's go dock. Let's show what that looks like. We'll go here. See, the screen turns blue. The one approach to a star base. So we're coming in hot! We're going to have a jingles landing! We're going! Oh, wave about! I'm going too fast! Okay, no more jingles landing. Okay, what you gotta do is basically keep the crosshair on this thing. And it weaves around like a freaking madman. Wait it! Hey, and we're good. Let's go after the last two. So now we have full health. Then you go to each starbase one time. There's four star bases on the map, and you can increase the difficulty and more enemies to fight. And their shots will actually get faster. And they'll come at you faster. But that's pretty much the Star Masters. It's freaking sick, it's simple, and it's awesome. I mean, these freaking graphics are freaking great. Snaked! And victory is mine this day! Brought to us by, again by Activision. They make all the cool stuff. Alright, so let's do our last game of the night, and we're gonna do Beam Rider. Beam Rider from Activision 1984. This is made on like every freaking console and computer of the day. I tend to think that the Atari version is the best, the 2600 version. I think it has a little bit better audio. Some of the other stuff, like in the Coleco version, are a little bit better. Some of the Atari 800. PC, whatever thing is, a little bit better. This, I think, is the total package. So let's go. Our ship is ready to go. Engage! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so Sector 1. We have five lines. It's kind of like a Tempest type game. But essentially, we've got a little beam cannon here. We've got to shoot these little flying saucers. Pretty simple first stage. Oh, they're shooting at me. But they got, uh,. We also have three missiles. There's an extra life. Don't shoot that. It turns evil if you shoot it. I mean, look at the freaking, like, explosive effects. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we push up to get that. Boom! Sniped! Gotta hit the mothership. And you get all the points. Systems engage. Now, stage two, we're introduced to the asteroids. Can't shoot them. But we still gotta blow up all the little fighters to get to the mothership. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. I got you now. Oi. They like to do like bombing runs on me. They like to strafe me. What are you, 109s? Okay, now they're doing weaving tactics. There we go. Another one up. I think there's like a one up on every stage. Which is kind of cool. Come on. Let me come over here. Mmm, got you! Crap, I'm not gonna get it this time. Oh well, I'll blow up some of their mines. And we're off. Now, what does this stage introduce? Close them, yes. Ha ha! I got you all. I'm gonna come over. Yeah. Ha ha! You didn't do that that time. No, we're weaving about. None of that mess. Not for none of that garbage. Oh, I see what you guys are doing. What are you having it? Ha ha! More level ups. Ooh. Crazy. Got it. Ha! It's like the explosive sound effects in this version are a lot better, and this is better. All 
Oh, it's you. I hate that thing. It just does nothing but eat your shots up. You can shoot it. It's kind of a cutie little thing, but... Oh, it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to shoot something. That one. Get you. Come on. Nope. I think you get some points for shooting it, but I'm not sure. Crap. All right, we're up to stage five. We're gonna drunken UFO. We got another drunken UFO. Oh, he's like, no. Okay, they're starting to get crazy. Now you can use your missiles to shoot their shots and deflect them. Kill that thing one of these times. Hey, keep on coming with the bombing runs. I don't give a crap. Crap! Son of a biscuit. It's kind of hard to time that sometimes. Look at all the lives I got. We're gonna be at this all night. Oh no, we won't. Cause this is about when that game's just getting like crashing it up. See, now there's just like mines coming down constantly. You got this goofy thing coming. I gotta kill all the UFOs. I gotta deal with mines. I got shot in the face! Okay, let's try that again. There, I got you, you silver biscuit, mocking me all this time. No! I should just fire a missile. I'm trying to play freaking bullet hell here, and it ain't working. The UFOs will not dive bomb you. Wait. Give me that. There we go. All right. <laughs> I got it that time. You scumbags. And I got one of my lives back, too. Get all the, the points. Give me all the points. I think just everything's getting faster now. It's more annoying. Oh, he did it right in my face! That scared the mess out of me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on. We got this, man. This game... This game's nothing. I am so happy I'm doing this. Oh, man. I freaking love these games. These are, like, some of my favorite games. Beam Rider, Jar's Revenge, and... Play Patrol, not so much, but it's it's a fun little like like weird. You scumbag! You didn't deserve that kill. Freaking ramming me. What do you think this is, War Thunder? Look, you get down here where I can shoot you. Stop going over there. Nobody can shoot you over there. Would you cut it out? Stop wasting everybody's time. Oh, now you're gonna come I'm gonna get you. Gotcha. Ha-ha! Take that, mothership! You didn't expect that one, did you? Oh. Ooh, that was close. What the frig is this thing? Who put that in the game? I'm gonna be ready to use my missiles if need be. Who? No! I am moved! Dang it, I ain't moving enough. I got a big hitbox. Okay, so I know that now. God freaking soccer ball of doom. What are you, evil Otto? Go back to Berserk. 
Speaking of Berserk, I need to get a different version of Berserk so I can get the voices in it. I might try to get an arcade version of Berserk. Man, I've heard that the, uh, the voices of Berserk really make it. I mean, I played the, the 2600 version, but it doesn't have any voices in it. Get down here, you scumbag! Ooh! All the torpedoes! I'm gonna try to get to level 10. That's my goal, so hit sector 10, and we're gonna end this video. Yeah, got you! Got you too! Got you! Got you! Crap. No, you son of a. I got too greedy. That's my, that's my fault on that one. I got too greedy. I was trying to play too fast. He got me killed. God dang soccer ball. Give me one up. There we go. Okay, don't get pinned. Don't get pinned! Two more to go. Two! Nope. more. Two more to go. Come on. Got three more, three more fighters to kill. I know your pattern. I know yours too. And yours! Ha ha ha! Got him. Oh, I tried. I tried. I missed it. But hey, we're at sector 10. Now what new form of vile villainy will show itself? Whoa, what the frig was that thing? He point blanked me. Ugh. Go away. No one likes you to smell. I think that green thing, I think it can attach to you, if I'm not mistaken. Gimme. We're gonna keep going. This game's too much fun. It's awesome. It sounds cool. Tempest on acid. Ha ha! Got you! Oh yeah, that's right, it hangs out, and if it grabs a hold of you, you can't move until it goes away. I remember that now. Oh, I was trying to force my way through, and it's kept coming too fast. Alright, <laughs> man, we're still going. Uh, you freaking snort working me. Yeah. Nope, you go away. Activision, why don't you make games like this anymore? Your new games suck. You've rubbed Call of Duty in the dirt after I loved it so much, and then you made Modern Warfare 2 and ruined the whole freaking series by making it for like five year olds. Ooh. I don't even want to know what that thing does. Whoa, that guy's going kamikaze! Look at him! Yeah! Still got it. I think it's best to kind of just fly your way through a bunch of freaking mines and just get the thing. Oh, we're getting high pitched now. Nope. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got this. We got this, boys. We got this. Kill them all. Oh, I, oh, I should just fired a missile and I'm using up another freaking life. Get away. 
Whoa, what the frick is that? What are those? Stop kamikazing me! Oh, what a stupid soccer ball! Come on! <laughs> you got this soccer ball! Oh, they, they changed direction. Okay. You're not giving me it. Oh, now. Well, dang it. Get out of here. No! No! I had it! Balls. Nope. God! Oh. Between that and the soccer ball, they faked me out. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even last a second in that stage and it killed me. No, you go away. You go away. Okay, we got one. Go away. You go away. Okay, got you. Ah, oh, you son of a... Ooh. We were just starting to get rolling on this. Get it, get out of here. Oh, they're going off comic con oh, okay, I think this fire kills you. I thought it just grabbed a hold of you and couldn't move. Okay, that's good to know. I'm late, but we found out. Worthless freaking gun on this stupid plane. Come on, get the last one. Break out. Gotcha. Dang it. Start firing them all too early. I moved in 14. The game sounds angry. Everything's moving faster. Yeah, come on, go kamikaze, let's do it! You piece of garbage! Frickin' ran right into me, right? No chance. Can't get my one up. No! <laughs> no! The game screwed me up my one up because the stupid little like beam blocker was in the way. Oh! 15! Kamikazes! Soccer balls! Lane changers! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I'm trying my absolute hardest right now. Oh, one up, one up, one up. Gimme, yes! <laughs> I got you now! Get you! Yes! <laughs> We're up to stage 16. I'm still going. I came to life at that stage! Get him. Got you! I'm sorry you moved left, you can even see it! There's so much crap on screen! You go away! Get you! Got you! Nope, I want my one up. Give me that! Oh! Okay. Aha, I got your friend! Oh, he blocked the I was trying to hit the missile and I didn't do it! Okay. <laughs> he kinda killed eight of them. It's over! No! Oh! So that's Beam Rider. That's a fun game. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this because it's been going on almost too long. I didn't expect it to last this long, but it did, and I had fun. I can't wait to do the next one. Stay tuned for more Atari games with Spets. Later, guys.